Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's look is on this very uh, fresh kind of springtime appropriate makeup look. I did like a mauvey smoky eye with a pop of colour in the waterline. Natural lashes, you know, peachy pink lips and glowy, very natural skin. Natural skin. It's like more natural glam I would say. Um, just to give you guys like an option to for an everyday look that's very easy to achieve. Um, minimal products, super quick to, you know, produce the outcome and very effective at the same time. So I do hope you guys enjoy it and without further ado, let's get straight into the makeup look. Hope you enjoy. So I'm thinking I'll start off with the eyes today first. I want something like with a pop of colour in it, like in the water line area and then like something like a spring kind of glam. This is going to be a very natural, like, springtime glowy skin makeup looks like natural glam so that's kind of like the lines that I'm moving towards at the moment so as you guys can see I've already done my brows I'll make sure to leave my tutorial of the brow routine up above if you guys would like to check it out along with the products listed in the description box down below so I already went and just did like a thin layer of eye primer on the lid area just to neutralize them and create a nice tacky base for the products that we apply on top. I just went in with my MAC Soft Oak Paint Pot. So as my initial transition, I'm going to take High School Sweetheart from the Aspen Ovard Tarte Collaboration Palette. And on a fluffy crease brush, this is the Soft Crease from Zoeva. I'm just going to softly apply this in my upper crease area. Just a wash of that colour. Make sure I leave a space for the brow bone highlight too. So just going to slot it under the brow slightly. Next, dipping into Meiji Blush, um, which is that gorgeous like mauvey rosy tone from the palette. And I'm just going to take that on that same fluffy brush. And then just taking a light bit of high school sweetheart on the outer edges just lightly and then I'm going to take that same Movi tone the Meiji blush shade and place that all over the lid mm, that is delicious this shade is so pretty I want this look to be quite easy and matte as well like I don't really feel like a shimmery look for like an everyday look I think matte is just so easy to do as well. So much less hassle. And next for my inner corners, I'm going to take Little Lady. It's like kind of like a pinky, peachy, goldy shimmer. And place that on my inner corners. I mean, yeah, I do want this to be a matte look. But I always love like a little bit of like an inner corner thing. Especially for a bit of natural glam. Just opens up the eyes so much and for the brow bone I'm just going to take a matte white and I'm dipping into Married Life from that Aspen Ovide palette and just soften the edges going back and forth between Married Life and some of that Meiji blush shade and a little bit of High School Sweetheart and that's basically it for the eyeshadow on the top I told you I just wanted to keep it pretty simple today. Like something easy that you guys can all do. Nothing like you have to grab a million different colours like some of my other tutorials. So I'm just going to quickly apply some mascara and lashes. The mascara I'm going in with today is my Colossal Mascara from Maybelline. And the lashes I'm going in today with are the Temptress Wispy Lashes from House of Lashes. So I'm thinking before I do the rest of the eyes, I'll finish off with the skin so I'm gonna just whip through this I mean I did an in-depth face like base makeup look a highlight and contouring and all that jazz makeup look it was a real like just a whole base look basically a whole face of base if that makes sense anyways I'll just link that up here for you guys and also in the description bar down below if you guys want to check it out it's actually a really good video I give you guys so many tips and tricks on like what I do to shape the face, contour the face, highlight the face, like where to place all the products, you know, what products do what, creams, powders, all that kind of jazz just to help give you the best wear of your makeup, just to change your face, help suit it to your face shape, face type, skin type, everything like that. 
So if you guys like to check it out, like I said, it'll be in the description bar, if not in the cards. Mm, so to get this base going, it's quite dry at the moment. I did cleanse and moisturize about an hour or two ago. So it's kind of dried out a little bit um, in certain places. I do get quite oily in my T-zone though. So I tend to try and keep most of the product focused in my dry areas, which is the perimeters of my face. And then I'll leave less of the moisturizing product in the center. Like I'll try and just kind of keep it to the perimeters. And this is the Coconut Skin um, Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. And it smells literally so good. It smells like it's smooth, like a summer smoothie. Like it just encompasses all of summer and sm smells and it feels so good. And it's good for sensitive skin as well. Now I've done this trick a few times in my previous tutorials. So I'm going to grab a smidge bit of Laura Mercier translucent powder. You guys can use any loose powder that you want. I literally just put barely anything in the cap. And then I'll grab a fluffy brush. This is the Chi Chi bronzer brush. And I'm just going to apply that to my T-zone. Just my T-zone, not my whole face because the perimeters are pretty, like feeling pretty dry. But I just know that I'm an oily combination skin type so I try to minimize the oiliness in like the center of the face. And that's it. That's all the powder that I use to kind of just set the face. So next is foundation. We're just like pumping through the base today. I'm going in with my raw... Um, Superfood super food Infused Beauty Foundation. This is in the shade Honey. So I just like to evenly distribute it over the face and neck area. It is a natural foundation so it's good for the skin and it's a lighter coverage. You can build it up to be a like more medium coverage but I'd say it's still medium too light like it's definitely a light coverage and I like that for a spring day I personally don't like wearing a thick base of makeup so I won't like choose a foundation that's really like full coverage but it is up to you what you put on as your base I really just recommend this one it's so good for the skin like it's not got any of the nasty chemicals in it it's vegan cruelty free and it smells so good and it doesn't break me out as well so I really liked it lately because I have had a few acne breakouts so it's been good for that as well my skin just won't break out any more than it already is so next is Consuela we're gonna get our concealer out so grabbing my concealer in the shade medium Moyen I'm going to apply that under the eyes down the center of the face and also under the contours to really sculpt and I'm also going to cover any breakouts that I have just to kind of give a bit more coverage to those areas. And then just blending it all out with my F80 Kabuki from Sigma. And I always blend around the edges of my breakouts so I'm not taking away any of the coverage. I'm just feathering out the edges of the concealer. And see that nice little line I've got under there because I've highlighted under the cheekbone. So it just gives a bit more definition to the face. Next on a dry beauty sponge, I'm going to take my Raw Cosmetics Press Powder in the shade Nude. And just pressing this into any of the areas that we apply the concealer to set it in place. I like to go a little bit heavier handed in the forehead area, so like the T-zone. Just to minimise any of those oils like making their way through. And then on like a fluffy brush, I'll just go in and dust away any of the excess powder off my face. Next to warm up the complexion, I'm taking my usual bronzer, so nothing special, and just um, applying that to the perimeters of my face. Anywhere that we naturally get like a bit of sunlight hitting the skin. I just applied some to the ridge of my nose where I'd naturally get like that sunlight just kind of kissing the face. Sculpt the jawline a bit down the neck just so it all ties together. So for blush today I'm going to go in with my infatuation shade from Makeup Geek and apply that to the more contours of my face. I find that more flattering on my face shape. If you guys have a more oval shape then the apples will be very flattering. If you have more of a rounder face shape then the contours are your best bet. And I also apply it again over the ridge of my nose to give that more like 
sexy like just like you know sun kiss kind of feel like you've just been lying out in the sun getting a bit of healthy vitamin d it's got a bit of pinkness to the face like just a light amount it's like because i love that kind of look especially for like a spring day so for highlight today i'm going to grab the middle shade called star glow from my violet voss highlighting trio and apply that to the high points of my cheekbones just here so i'm actually not applying it up here where it kind of seems like you know that's where you think the high point of your cheekbone is i'm actually applying it right along here and that's actually where the highest point of the cheekbone is which actually makes sense because um up here is like near where the eye socket is like it's kind of gone too far honey if you're up there but don't worry i've been making that same mistake my whole life until just recently where i watched a video and i realized oh yeah it's actually not up here it's right here and then grabbing a fluffy eyeshadow brush and some of that moon gleam shade i'm just applying that to the very tip top points of my um cheekbone just for a bit of extra pop a bit of something something I also use Moon Gleam on the tip of my nose because it's the most blinding highlight and I love a good blinding highlight of the tip of the nails. And now we're glowing. Now if you're a dry skin type, a glowy like setting spray will be your best bet. For me, my oily skin doesn't really agree with that kind of stuff. It just looks like I have a whole heap of grease on my face. So I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Locket setting spray and it lasts 24 hours and helps the makeup just stay in place, you know? And it's so fresh, man. It smells like cucumbers. Like, it's just so refreshing. It's like, ah. Oh. So I'm going to continue with the bottom lash line just to finish off the eyes real quick. And then we'll move on to lips to finish off the face. So for my waterline, like I said, I wanted that pop of, like, colour. And I think I'm going to take a blue. This is the Ocean Green from BYS. Don't love it. That's why I always go over with, like, a, um eyeshadow like a more intense eyeshadow to kind of really bring out the blue in it but i don't have an eye call that's like blue like a proper blue and you know really blinding so this is kind of like what i have to work with and then over top like i was saying i go in with like a more intense eyeshadow so i'm going to take poolside from makeup geek which is like a kind of turquoisey blue aqua blue shade and apply that over my waterline if you guys have sensitive eyes i don't recommend doing this just stick with the eye coal. And then to finish off the bottom lash line, I'm, guess I'm just going to take that blush shade and apply it with a pencil brush, making sure to focus most of the pigment on the outer corner of the eye. And making sure to connect it up to that eyeshadow on the lid area. You don't want that gap. And then just blend out any edges with a clean blending brush. And then taking my mascara again, I'm just going to apply this to my bottom lashes real quick. So for lips today, I'm going to take my nude liner from Rimmel. This is in the shade 049 Natural. And I'm just going to line my lips with this and fill in the outer perimeters, I guess, of my, my lips. I do love this lip liner for like an everyday wear, like if I'm on the go, just something to give my lips just a bit of extra something, a bit of fullness because I can overdraw them a little bit because it is quite the same colour to my natural lip colour but today I want to make it a little bit more just like a pop in the centre of the lips so you can go with a lipstick I'm going to go in with a cream blush so I'm just applying it to my finger and I'm going to just kind of pop it on the very centre of my lips and voila and just because I thought of this like last second I really love this kind of technique I'm going to put on some faux freckles just on the kind of very center of the face around the nose area just to really emphasize that natural part of the natural glam and just because I think it's so pretty for spring and I'm just going to go in with my eye call from Makeup Geek in the shade Espresso and I'm making them different sizes so some really faint and light and others quite dark I'm actually also going over any like real ones like I'm kind of trying to keep it to my natural freckles and of course I'll cover any breakouts make it look like a beauty mark just to kind of hide the texture of it like you can cover the color can never really hide the texture so i always like to give it like a beauty mark and i'm just taking a damp beauty sponge and just going to blend these babies in so they're not so prominent and stark 
Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe down below to my YouTube channel so I can see you guys in my upcoming videos, tutorials and things. Make sure to leave any requests that you have down below in the description bar so I can read them and check them out and hopefully I can recreate that look or that idea for you guys. Otherwise, I hope to see you in my next video. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye.